Hey beautiful, how you doing? Welcome back, or welcome if this is your first time. And this hair. <laughs> I'm gonna do something about it, but you know why I keep growing it out? Cause actually I'm debating to get some extensions and clip it into my hair and make it longer. That's what I'm actually thinking about, <laughs> but I don't know. Anyway, um, hey beautiful, how are you doing? Welcome back or welcome if this is your first time. Hi, I'm Brian. <laughs> I hate that side profile. Ooh, but okay. Um, this video, I wanted to talk about something that I've actually talked about a lot on this channel, but I don't know if I've ever made a video quite like this one. Um, you know, something that has surprised me from the very beginning till this very day, and I've been on, I've had this channel for like four years now. There are a lot of straight guys here, which is so bizarre to me. Um, it's very bizarre to me. I have never known how to feel about it. And I still don't know how to feel about it because truth be told in my real life, I'm kind of somebody that like hates straight guys. <laughs> like I do, like I, I think it's good, I guess that there's so many guys on this channel, straight guys that are on this channel that it's been sort of shifting my point of view because I have had a very negative uh, perspective on straight guys. And I haven't had the highest opinion of straight guys just because as a gay person in my life, um, the only association that I would ever have with a straight guy is typically negative because either they are homophobic and, um, like discriminatory or they are, um, sneaky trying to, you know, mess around with me. And I don't know if this is still the same in the gay community, but I know when I was growing up, that was like the prize of all prize for some stupid reason is gay people love getting banged by a straight guy or nailing a straight guy, getting a straight guy. Now, don't get me wrong. I do like masculine guys um, but even then it's, it's only can go so far. Cause I actually thought for a long time that I would end up with somebody like myself. Like I thought that I would end up with somebody that's like a teacher or, um, I don't know, a Broadway actor, <laughs> like a dancer or something like that. Like somebody that's like sensitive, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody that, you know, probably wears glasses, reads, um, intellectual, smart, kind of soft, like, like a soft guy, versatile, you know, in the bedroom, I'm, so, I'm talking about like, you know, likes to flip flop. Um, I kind of thought I'd end up with somebody like that. I have definitely been attracted to really masculine guys, but I didn't, I, I've felt like they are too masculine for me, like that I wouldn't really connect with somebody like that, you know, long term. And then enters Cam into my life. And I don't know, he's like perfect for me. It's really bizarre. We have like the perfect balance of masculinity and femininity. And um, we just complement each other really well. But straight guys, I just have never had a good opinion about them, you know, like just period. And I've never been one of those people that's trying to like, nail a straight guy, chase a straight guy, just thinks that it's like oh, the ultimate pleasure to get banged by a straight guy. Uh, let me get to the point of why I'm making this video. What has sparked this, this topic is a comment that I had gotten. This week, I've been kind of like revisiting comments that I saved in my phone, like took a screenshot, and I was going to address it but I never got around to doing it. So I've been trying to do it this week. And certainly if anybody has any uh, comments or questions, you know, leave your, like, leave a comment and I will talk about it. Like, I love doing this. This has always been my favorite part about doing this channel is I love interacting with you guys and actually like talking to you guys. And if you say something, I do see it. I do read it. I usually try to respond like 
to you in the messages or um, like this in a video. Um, uh, but anyway, this comment, this is from Johnny Carter. Um, I believe she, she said, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure. So you tell me, I guess. And if you're still here, Johnny, uh, you, you tell me, <laughs> but they said, I guess, um, you are a pioneer on this subject from an entirely different and perhaps exclusive aspect. Being an effeminate homosexual does not equal being weak in any way. Conversely, it makes effeminates with more courage than the ma the ma the much than the macho closet. As a former sex worker in London, England, for ten and a half years, and one who went on to develop, uh, yeah. I don't know how you say this word, this word right here, this word right here, um, this one, is it backwards? Are you guys able to see this? Is it backwards? Let me see if I flip it. Would you be able to read it? Um, where is it? No, nah, I can't even read it. Oh, wait, here we go. Yeah, this one right here. Let's see if you can read it now. Yeah, this word right here. I don't know how you say that. I don't know how the hell you say that. But um, uh, I know very well that men and so many alpha males enjoy anal sex with their female partners and beyond. A lot of black men find me attractive. I am... I am what is described as passing as white, though a biracial monochrome parents hormonally compromised. My breasts are large and continue to expand despite testosterone use. A humble brag. <laughs> I'm screaming. I am masculine and know exactly what you mean, even out of a prison environment. Outside, even an old man such as I still gets callers under the cover of darkness into wee small hours, his heady up, the same as his erect natural weapon. I don't know what that meant. Using the American vernacular on the DL, many of these men are tops, married to females, and enjoying the thrill of something taboo, or in my case, taboo, tab taboob. Now, the reason I wanted to talk about this was because initially when I had seen this comment, I actually wanted to drag guys. <laughs> I was going to be like, see, this is what I'm talking about. Women, y'all got to be careful with these men. These guys be out here doing the most. They be doing the dirties. They be on the low with this and that, blah, blah, blah. I was really ready to like lay in. But as time has gone on and, um, you know, I've seen things, I've experienced things, I've been online, like viewing the TikToks and the YouTube videos and all these different things and my shows, I'd be watching different stuff. And it's actually, and then also with the guys on this community, in this, in this community, on this channel, this is why I brought that up at the beginning of this video with the guys that are here, it has opened up my mind more where I actually have a lot more compassion actually for straight guys. This is Cam. I told you, see, this is why, um, oh, where's my headset? It's over there. But this is why I needed a camera. This is why I didn't use to record. I told you I, every time I'd be recording, he always call, he calls all day, <laughs> but, um, I need to learn his lockdown times. That's what I used to do back in the day. I knew his lockdown times and I would, um, I would, uh, record during those times but um where are we at nine minutes ten minutes my point is recording. hold on thank you yeah. for using gtl my point is hello hey sweetheart hey sweetheart um i'm in the middle of recording i just kind of want to finish it really quick um i'm talking yeah i'm talking about uh straight guys but in my time of oh say hi to everybody <laughs> but in my time of um i mean 
with seeing the guys that are on here, it has opened up my mind where I actually have a lot more compassion. And instead, I would like to say that I feel like women need to uh, talk to your men more to understand deeper what they're feeling and they need to feel I think more safe to be able to express themselves and this would prevent so many guys uh running around doing all these crazy things in the dark behind everybody's back you know that's just kind of like what I think what I'm talking about is this guy had left a cam sweetheart this guy had left a comment about um his about his experiences with like guys on the DL and creeping around and all of this stuff and I was saying like initially you already know that I saved that comment because I wanted to come up here and like drag guys and be like oh this is why you know straight guys they just get under my skin because they always doing the most and this and that blah blah can't trust no and everything but over time i've been thinking to myself i feel like especially with like getting to know you and i mean not that you're straight but it's like you know you're masculine and it's like you know how uh we talk about how you feel comfortable to express yourself and all these things and i know that there are straight relationships with like guys with women where they feel the same way with with their girl that is like it's okay for them to cry or it's okay for them to express like a, a, a sensitive side such as decorating or um being comfortable in their skin if the girl wants like uh sometimes some women they take their husband to the nail salon to get pedicures and manicures together and even though the man doesn't get any color on his nails he'll get like a buff a buff a trim and like clear polish on his nails you know what i'm saying and it's like that's like a fun husband wife thing to do but it's like maybe not every guy is like that but i think that women should be more encouraging for guys to feel safe to be able to express themselves rather than just having to be tough all the time or like you know how some moms like with their little boys they'd be like don't cry don't cry you you know but it's like if they have if their daughter cries it's like they coddle her you know what i mean yeah what do you think since you're here yeah Like the, the ideal thing of um, masculinity, being tough, with, like as, as men don't not to not to cry that that's weak. And I think for real, I think that's um, um, this guy in this in this league it, it needs to um, you know a lot of um, mental distress or or problems or issues as the as the young uh, as the, uh, the boys grow up, you know. It's a teenage into adulthood. He's all the way into adulthood. I, I think that, like you said, they should be allowed to, 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 to in society, we should allow the, the young boys to express themselves, even if it um, seems overly feminine. Just let them be them. You right. gotta stop trying to perform them into what the idea of what we want. Because, you know, guys will be guys regardless of what you do. You know what I mean? It's like like if a boy is is masculine, they're going to naturally develop like that. You know what I'm saying? And if somebody's sensitive, that's just how they are. You can't change it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that was my point. That was the reason. Oh, this is the first time I did it. Thanks to my hubby. You got me on track. We're at 14 minutes and 18 seconds. All right. Um, so finally, <laughs> finally, the first video, I got it at 15 minutes. But um, that's it, you guys. So you got a little treat today with featuring my my hubby, Cam. Um, this is his, his picture up here at the top. Where is he? Oh, wait. It went, it went away. Hold on. Yeah, there it is. Oh, I can't even see. All right, there we go. But anyway, all right. Love you, beautiful. Have a great day. See you in the next one. Oops.